<laughs> right, good morning. Welcome to the new job. We are building a eight bedroom mansion. We're taking over from another bricklayer, the company we sub to. Follow me, Jolly. The company we sub to has taken over the previous bricklayer's work. So we've come in today to sort of F and R. Back of the house is already out. This is like a basement. We're having a block and beam floor. Um, I've got an old clip. Uh, we've already taken a block off the entire perimeter of the basement because he was too high. Uh, and at the moment, I'm just laying all of my splits on. But yeah, new job, new apprentice, new cameraman. What are you saying, John? <laughs> hey. Buzzing. 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 Right, so we're just going to go over the finished floor level and the underside of beam level, which I'll explain to you and the people watching right now. Also, I'll throw a picture of what this house is going to look like eventually. So, yes, yes. Damn. So, we are setting our block work splits to our finished floor level, okay? So this is our finished floor level inside, this beam here, yeah? Plus 22 mil. You're plus 22 mil in this case because you've got your laminate or your tiling or whatever. So, what I've done, I set my laser to finish floor level. You see that little mark there, yeah? That was my finished floor level, okay? Then, I've also worked out the height of my underside of beams, okay? Now, come here. I don't know if you can see this. I wrote it yesterday on our uh, KFC thing. So, we've got our finished floor level, okay? We're taking away 400 mil. We're taking away 400 mil because we've got 175 millimeter of a beam, 100 mil insulation, and 125 of concrete, okay? Yeah. So what we do, we go from our finished floor level, we measure up, because up is down, and that's a bit complicated, mm -hmm. but by going from finished floor level up 400 mil, that gives us underside of beam, okay? So if I've done this right, please be right, it's spot on. So all I've done, I've gone round, dobbing all my corners on, making sure everything works. Making sure everything works. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that's how we've set the underside of beam. So at the moment, we're just gonna blast this in. I'm gonna get Charlie spreading. Yes, yes. Whee, Dan. So all I do now, yeah. okay, that's underside of beam, yeah, all I do add 400 mil on top of that mm -hmm. and that takes me to finish floor level right. and I add the 400 mil because we got 175 yeah you said 100 mil 125 yeah. so you know because you've already done a bit yeah scoop under yeah okay so yeah. slap away yeah scoop under yeah that's it okay yeah. elbow comes towards your lap yeah yeah slight twist to the wrist okay perfect go on brother And then we'll follow this perimeter round. We need to get over that block work there. Right, can you see the massive dip in it? Yeah. How can you do that? Um, well, what we'll do, that's a right dip. Um, I'll put my line, I'll set a block split over there, and a block split where you are. I'll pull the line through, and then I'll literally measure down and I'll just cut over this, you know what I mean? So the block in this dip here yeah. will be bigger than the block over there. Yeah, I get you. God, <laughs> I don't, I'm, I don't want to call out anyone's work, so. You know, it's just one of them, isn't it? You know, you don't know the circumstances. Perfect, there we go. So we're just going to get these last course of splits running here. Then we're going to go down there where I just mentioned and get over that dodgy block work. Uh, I did spend the last couple of days looking at the entire job, checking heights, checking levels. Um, you know, things are out. There's a lot wrong, there's a lot right. Um, but it's not my place to be calling people out and things like that. If you have noticed an increase in camera quality and audio, that's because it has increased with the money I've earned from YouTube over the last couple of months 
bought myself a brand new phone to edit on and film on so the camera quality should be much much better and hopefully I'll be able to get videos out quicker because I can edit them quicker and I've got more storage and things like that so make sure you like and subscribe because it does help and most of the money I do reinvest back into what we're doing here. So at the moment we're setting our underside of beam again, just like we've been doing around the whole perimeter, okay? But because I can't really trust the previous brick layers block work, if you come over here and cast your other camera, down that line, not this line, as in the block work, you can kind of see it's all over the shop, isn't it? Like height, levels, everything's just out. So what I've done, yesterday we cast our line, didn't we? We ranged our line in from the existing house, following, made these brickwork. Do you remember, yeah? Yeah. And it wasn't too bad. This side especially was actually really good. And because he's built straight off a trench block, a trench block's 300 mil, mm -hmm. 100 mil brickwork, 100 mil cavity, 100 mil block okay yeah so I can actually trust this block work here so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna tap my line in to this block work here I set my mark my underside of beam is actually here where I've just pinned my line in I just set it with the laser right and now all I've got to do is pull from point A to point B over there. I measured that cavity where I dob that block on, where the corner block is, and it's yeah. not too bad at all. So that kind of works. And now all I need to do, because you asked earlier how we're going to get over this very, very dodgy block work. Mm -hmm. So here I've got a 110 cut. Here I've got a 130 cut. Here I've got a 140 cut. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to get over this dodgy block work by just doing lots of individual cuts and just pulling from two points that I know are correct. So, solutions, no problems. Right, we're gonna crack on, do some cuts. Yes! <laughs> Right, so, <laughs> that's my underside of uh, beam level, yeah? And like I just said, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but it runs from there to, so at this side here, I've got 55 mil. Here, I've got 90 mil. So, we're quite far out already. So that means, I imagine it's blues are out as well, so off over here. So I'm, I am going to cut that with a steel saw, cut it level, so we're right. But if you look at this here, so this is only a four foot level. Um, these blues are massively out, so you can see that that is hugely out. So in a bit, or when we do the brickwork, I'm going to take these blues up and we're going to. Um, mark some datums datum is basically a level we are trying to hit with our brickwork right. so you know how i spoke um about underside of beam yeah okay that's like a level we're trying to hit that's a datum right so okay. if we were trying to hit a mark with yeah. our laser or with our brickwork that's our datum okay so i'm going to set some datums up probably tomorrow when we start all the brickwork and get all the brickwork down which is fucking not passable and then we're gonna try and hit all our new levels again. I think a bit of this brickwork down here has got to come down as well, just by looking at it. But that's a problem for tomorrow. For now, we'll cut this with the still saw and we're gonna do all our cuts over there and then do the final cuts for our underside of beam over there, see where the board is. And then we should be laughing. That's all the cuts done and then we can start looking at all the brickwork so but i'm not looking forward to looking at the brickwork at all <laughs> anyway let's do some cuts let's go Bye.
Oh, that's lovely compo. Good. Good compo. Um, could I have a couple of ties, please, mate? Yes. Where are we going? Um, oh, there's some there's there, a few yeah. there, and there's just a few knocking about. If you just grab them, stick them in for me. You know the score of ties. So every, yeah, 450. Brick, brick and a half wide. Block and a half. High. Block and a half wide. Yeah. 450 high. Yeah. Right. Oh, 450 high. Okay. Yeah. And then with them. And what are they? What are the blocks? Three, two, what would they be? What? 225. Five. So, yeah, blocks are two, one, well, 225. Yeah. The next, with a bed. With a bed, of course. And then yeah. two of them would be 450. So it's yeah. every other bed, basically. Yeah. Cool. Well done, yeah. And then, obviously, always tips down, yeah? Right, tits down. So, go on, stick it in. Oh, one about there. Perfect. Nice one. Cool. So your next one, if you're doing oh, blocking off. Here. No, it's there. Oh, you're, right. you're in yeah, a half course, a block course, there. Course, 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 course. Yeah, yeah. Lovely. And then you just have them, like you say, perfect. Halfway into the block. This is what you've done. If, uh, if I've not got bed down, just put them on the wall. Yeah. Just like, yeah. Just roughly so I, I can see where they're going, yeah? This is your Aris, okay? Mm -hmm. Aris to Aris is how we want the bricks to be. Yeah. You see that lovely and smooth. Yeah, you don't you want, want it like that. Yeah, yeah. These obviously over exaggerated. You don't yeah, want it like that. Yeah. Okay. Hand on the brick. When you go down, your thumb comes away. Okay. But you keep your hand still on the brick to support it. Mm -hmm. And you literally just tap it down to the line. And then all we're doing here is checking the face plane. Okay. That to need a bit more bed. So, again, perfectly brick. Hand on the brick, supporting it. Thumb comes away from the line, so you're not like this. Mm -hmm. you can spaz on the line. You keep your hand always on the brick to guide it, and then you just you can sink it with your hand. But for now, a couple of taps down. Okay, checking face plane. Okay, and what you're after is a nice smooth face plane. At the moment, I'm actually catching, yeah, but that's because yeah, making block works. Ah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Perfect. Interesting. <laughs> oh shit. Not bad. Cool. <laughs> okay. So push the brick up to the other brick as well. Squeeze that perf out. Brilliant. Not bad. Okay, so you can see it wants to happen down a little bit. Yeah. Face plane. Okay. You can check your face plane now. Not bad at all. Bit lippy, but I'm pretty sure this block works out. Okay. Yeah. That's what it was planned for. Okay. Not bad. Okay, do it again. There you go. Cool. Everyone's got a different way of perf and bricks. There's a yeah. hundred ways to skin a cat, people say. As long as your joints are full, looking decent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Perfect, okay. It's not bad, it's not bad. So you know when you're tapping down? Yeah. Uh, what I like to do, I mean people say don't tap down, it's a bad habit. Okay. But it's the way you learn bricks. Well, you just push. Yeah, but people, when you're learning, people don't have much control over this hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll sink it down or they'll leave it high. So that's why when I teach someone, I say tap it down. Yeah. And then when you get better, then you can sink it down with your hand. You don't need, need to tap yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, when you tap down, it's better to use your blade. Right, okay. okay. So at the moment, well, you're, you're butting yeah, up yeah, yeah. and hitting it like a spaz. <laughs> okay? <laughs> <laughs> Which is cool, right. but it's better to tap. Okay. Tap. 
It's great. And then your trowel's always handy here. If you're like that, then you've got to reposition your trowel. Yeah, face face. Yeah. If you're tap, tap, yeah, yeah? yeah, just a bit more control. You should be able to get a full brick in there. Yeah, you can. Cool. So let's get that one in. Not bad. Right, did you just get your finger? I did. Right, okay, so you know when you tap your brick down? Move your hand away. <laughs> okay, so you see me tap. Um, I'm tapping using this part, okay? Right. And then my hand comes out of the way. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so my fingers, when I lay it, they're there. Yeah. Okay, and then they come, then they come to, to like the bottom left corner. So I'm there, I'm there. My, see how my hand moves? Yeah. Tap, tap. But it's not bad. Because then you're laying on matey's terrible block for it. Yeah. Not bad at all, mate. Just following that line, isn't it? Yeah, following follow the, the line. line. Little, sure. little gap away, like you say, you know already. Yeah. You've got like a little gap already. Yeah, totally, totally. They're yeah. pretty well laid. Cool. Nice one. And then I went to uni to go do forensic science. Yeah. And then while I was at uni and college as well, doing my A levels, I was also working for a couple of builders, just weekend work, cash and hand. Yeah. And when I left to go to uni, I was almost full time with them during six week holidays and stuff like that. Yeah. And they said, if you ever need a job or anything, give us a shout. I was like, no, not being a builder. I've got a brain. You know, you know what you like when you're slightly younger, you think you're better than people, don't you? Mm. Um, anyway, I was in a lecture hall one day and I had something to do with chemistry. And it was like baffling my mind. Yeah. And I, I was just like, oh, fuck this. I stood yeah. up at the end of the lecture, I went to my lecture, I was like, ma'am, I'm quitting uni. Um, and I literally, I walked out of the lecture hall, called my boss, who was old, my old boss now, well, his dad's, um, who I worked for for years, called him, I think it was on the Wednesday, called him saying, oh, I've dropped out of uni, what are you saying? He sacked their current apprentice slash labourer, yeah. and then that was it, I was in work the next day, up at, what was it? <laughs> I was up at R5 to cycle like five miles to then get a tram to get to work for half seven. Awesome. So you know when people say to me, oh I can't find a job or I can't do this, mm. bollocks. bollocks, I cycled and caught public transport for like a full year before getting a car, like before getting a car yeah. or moving closer because I lived in Nottingham to work for St Derby. Right. So I have to cycle to a tram station, mm. then get a bus or a train or some means of getting to work. Hard play. Um, Working for fuck all money. Yeah. Long days, hard work. That's it. Yeah, I mean, the lads, they would like knock off at four and I'd be walking through a door like half eight. I'm like, oh fuck, like cycling home in the snow and the rain. But you just do what you do, don't you? Of course. Bricklayers! <laughs> you want to say you're a builder? No, I don't. I hate saying I'm a builder. I say I'm a bricklayer. Right. You are a builder, though. I am a builder. You're not a bricklayer because you can do yeah. foundations, footings. You can do, you know. Man of many skills. Let's uh, be honest. You could probably, if push goes shove, put a roof on it. Huh? I can put trusses on. Yeah. That's all I would do. Um, yeah, trusses. Then you put your shell on. You told me. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then tiles probably. Yeah. You know, you're a builder, mate. Yeah? Uh, no, no, no. Don't I don't. Short no, no, I don't want to be a builder. I like being yeah. a bricklayer. I like yeah. the title bricklayer. Yeah. Yeah. When, uh, when Sinead says, oh, I'm dating a builder, I say, no. <laughs> you're dating a bricklayer. <laughs> and then don't you go, I'm dating an influencer. I'm like, fucking definitely not. <laughs> I'm, an, I'm an influencer by mistake. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess it's a title. I'm fucking cool. rocking now. Uh, get like free it. shit, you know what I mean? Yes, yes. Yes, right, okay. We have pretty much finished up putting all of our splits on oh, all around the entire job. If I stick my level laser, watch yourself, Charlo. <whistles> pretty much on anywhere. Everything is set bang on, which is really good. Close enough. Everything's pretty bang on, so I'm happy with that. Uh, we are pretty much ready for all the block and beams to go on. There are a few steels going in at some point, but I've still not got the drawings. So I will end up having to cut out a couple of pad stones, but that's nothing major. I'd rather just get everything to the right height and then we'll worry about putting pad stones, up, pad stones in. 
bit later on uh, but yeah that pretty much wraps up this video tomorrow we're going to be working on all the brick work there's a lot of work to do there's a lot of things to get over and there's a lot of things to put right um so that's going to be really interesting charlie how do you thank your first proper day with me amazing <laughs> amazing amazing right on that note like subscribe comment follow me on instagram upload daily there yes yes yeah boy